Hello Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am reviewing the Black Friday handbag by Avelina Demore. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I got this handbag for Christmas from Heavy Metal Hubby. I mean, I got it for myself and then he paid me back. <laughs> but, uh, I got this in the Black Friday sale because it was a 25% discount. Uh, and then I actually managed to, because I left it in my basket for a little while, I got another discount on top, which basically covered the postage and packing from Australia. And so I got it for a sweet deal and I decided that, I mean, I've had my eye on this handbag for years and years and I was going to get myself a Killstar handbag and wallet and then I decided, you know what, I've wanted this for years and years and years. I would rather have one really nice present, well, technically two because I got the wallet as well, but I'd rather have a couple of really nice presents than a bunch of cheaper stuff that isn't necessarily going to last as long. And so this is my review of the glorious Avelina de More Black Friday handbag. So about the bag. The bag is 100% vegan. So it's vegan, it's cruelty free, there is no real leather in this. I mean if it was real leather it would be another, at least another £100. Much as I do like the durability of leather, it would have made the price point really quite high so I'm I'm glad it's not leather but I do like the fact that you know if this was a leather handbag it would probably do me 20 years it's probably not going to last that long but I have high hopes I have high hopes so it is this beautiful handbag it has this gorgeous what I would call a hand strap that is great for in the crook of your arm like that it has three different materials that it is made from so we have got this like um leather effect uh, faux leather then we have got this shiny PU with the the bat wing detail here and then we have this beautiful velvet detailing here so there's velvet here there's velvet on the back and the lining is velvet you can actually get the lining in four different colors uh, black red purple and like an electric lime green I of course went for red so I got the version with the sigil of Lucifer on it I really like the sigil I you can have it without if you are that inclined but I really liked the sigil so I wanted to have it now the first thing when my mum saw it she was like oh my god those spikes you're it's a weapon you can't possibly walk around like that it's actually really cleverly designed so this is all that beautiful velvet here which means that it's nice and easy to put things in because it can deform quite well. And it's got these beautiful spikes on. There was actually a couple of spare spikes in the bag as well, which I really appreciated that. I thought that was a really nice little touch. I've left them in there in one of the little zip up pockets. So I always know where they are. Um, but so far, none of them have budged an inch. Absolutely love it. Now, they're quite substantial spikes. If you are swinging the bag, you know, and you sort of, you hold it like that and you're swinging along with it by your calf sort of thing. If you manage to aim it wrong, you can stab yourself in the calf slightly with the spikes. I've done it a couple of times when I've been wearing leggings and it's, it's a little uncomfortable, I will admit, but it's not the horrific weapon that my mum envisages. <laughs> so <laughs> you could probably take a small child's eye out with it if you were really being not careful, but I do make an effort to be careful with it. And it's quite funny when you're sort of, I'm at the swimming pool with the kids or whatever, and I'm trying to squeeze past people and I'm like, sorry, I don't want to get you with my weapon, you know? <laughs> so it's always a good talking point. So this is the front of the bag with a beautiful bat wing detail here, which I love. And then on the back, we have an external pocket. This is what I would call the moment phone pocket this is where I always put my phone pop it in here it fits nicely so I tend to slot it in like that if I'm just using my bag day to day so I can just pull it out quickly it's bigger on the inside than the zip is so you have to sort of poke it in and then turn it round but you can fully zip it up with a mobile phone in it so that is great and it is lined with the velvet as well so mine is lined with the beautiful red velvet there is such a gorgeous red color if I just sort of Pull a bit out there look at that red it's absolutely stunning it's really really soft the quality of it is beautiful and i must say i'm really impressed with the quality of these zips as well um because on killstar handbags i must admit all my zips have been crap on killstar bags particularly the more recent killstar bags that i've bought i definitely think things like the quality of their zips has nosedived recently this is a really good quality zip now on the website the pictures are still with like little crosses on the zip pulls that was only version one so the more subsequent versions have got these pvc sort of hoops that you can 
pull but I actually really like that because you can sort of just poke your finger in and pull it makes it a bit more accessible particularly I think if you've got like grip problems and things like that it just makes things a little bit easier to access which is I really appreciate so as you can see we've got the normal leather here then we've got this line of PU that goes all around the edge of the zip and then from the middle here it goes down to this beautiful velvet now we have these two hooks here the two hooks are for the shoulder strap now this is probably the one thing, one criticism I have of this bag. So this shoulder strap, it's really nice. I really like the fact that it's got the two hooks on either side, so it's nicely balanced. You've got nice chunky chain. I would have liked it to have been a bit chunkier, but it's still pretty chunky with these swiveling clips on. So you've got the clips here, but they swivel as well, so you'll never get it tangled up. However, because this is the shiny PU on both sides, it slides off your shoulder. Had it been made with the velvet material on the underside, it would grip onto your clothes and wouldn't slide off. So I must admit, I have some sticky back like felt that I am gonna try and stick a piece on the underside and see how it fares, see if I can get it to grip because I do find that I put it on my shoulder and it just immediately slides off. So I find myself having to do this, which is not comfortable. So that is my only criticism of this bag is it could do with having it being the, the, the suede or the velvet on the underside. That would have made this bag a 10 out of 10 absolute perfection. So this is the main zip and we're gonna open. We've got double pulls, so I really like that. So you can take them to the center and then go either side or you can zip it up from one side or the other, which again, just gives you lots and lots of access. So then inside we have on the side, so this is the, the back, I would say, where the phone the phone pocket is you've got this lovely little PU panel here which says Black Friday by Avelina Damore in there I really like that and of course my beautiful red velvet lining so you have what I call the lip balm pocket here so this is the lip balm pocket at the back which has my obligatory lip balm in it we have some makeup remover wipes we have my usual salt and pepper because what is life without a little bit of seasoning to be added uh, and I've got a few other little bits and bobs it's a big pocket it's a really big pocket I mean I can easily get this whole pack of makeup wipes in there oh dear these are not okay uh, <laughs> you can get this whole pack of makeup wipes in there and there is masses of room to spare in there I mean I've got my whole hand in there and there's still room to spare that's a really great back lip balm pocket now then you have a a what I would call this is like a smaller pocket so you've got this full width pocket here with the zip which they have then sort of sewn to the back panel it's not quite full width it's almost full width so I find this pocket here is great for a pair of sunglasses you can slot a pair of sunglasses in nicely my wallet so this is the Black Friday wallet doesn't fit in that back pocket but it does fit in the much bigger space at the front so if you look We've got the bigger space here at the front with the majority. We've got this, which is sewn on majority of the way. We've got about three or four centimeters, so maybe an inch and a half either side here. And then this space here. So this is where I put my sunglasses. This is the full, almost full width zip pocket. So in here I have, I have a hairbrush. I have some heavy metal mama business cards. I have my powder. I've throat sweets etc that's a great place to put stuff like that that you don't want to sort of be loose in your handbag and then I've got this big main pocket now in the big main pocket they've actually sewn into the lining this which I think this is genius it's just a little piece of like canvas woven material with a clip with a swivel on the end so you can attach your keys to it or if you're in somewhere like London and you're a bit worried about your purse you can attach your purse to it so that somebody can't just pickpocket it out of your handbag i find it's really handy for keys because i do tend to find that my keys tend to migrate to the bottom of all bags ever because that's what keys do this is a great great space for the handbag and then we have on the front edge we have got a double pocket here so i think that you normally think that this is for like your mobile phone and something else i have got my little notebook my you wouldn't understand necessary evil notebook and pen and a pack of my pet checks misfortune cookies tissues in there because everybody needs a black tissue when they're out and about and then i keep my little heavy metal mama tote bag stuffed into what i would call the mobile phone pocket there so i've always got a shopping bag if i am out and about 
it's beautifully made this lining is so soft it's such a beautiful blood red it's so striking and stands out there's so much room in here for loads and loads of different things i mean there's paracetamol in there there's all sorts of bits and bobs in there and then i also have the wallet so the wallet again the same three materials we've got the faux leather on the back and part of the front we've got this beautiful pu again in the back wing on the front here and then there's also this section here of the beautiful black velvet and we open it up and we have i mean it's absolutely beautiful it's this beautiful red velvet inside we've got all these pu pockets it says here uh, black friday by avelina de more it's really beautiful wallet so all of the pockets etc are pu uh, we've got all of these card pockets here so you can put one two three four five six seven different little card pockets there then you've also got a pocket underneath where you can put more cards etc uh, then you've got these card pockets here so again you've got six card pockets here and then you've got a space there oh, i've got a receipt in there then you've got a zip pocket here as well um, which I tend to put sort of more precious notes and stuff like that. Another zip pocket, here, uh, another pocket here. This is deep as well. I've had it a few times where because it's so deep, I've opened my wallet and because the new British pound notes are all made of that weird plastic stuff, they sort of just slide out. So you have to be a little bit careful. I must admit, I think if I was out drinking, I would make sure I put all of my, my paper money in the zip pocket there just because... I know I get dropsies when I've been drinking so and then you've got a really nice quality zip here on the back as well which is where I keep all of my change it's just beautifully designed really nice it fits beautifully in the bag which I mean of course you would you would hope it would fit when you <laughs> they're sort of designed to be used together so yeah it slots beautifully into the bigger pocket there and I just absolutely love it. I get so many compliments on it when I take it out. I've had so many compliments on videos when I did the Pure London fashion event thing. So many people being like, I want your handbag, I love it. I would definitely recommend if you have the opportunity to get one, if you are feeling that you can afford to get one because it's not a cheap bag it's definitely not a cheap bag it was considerably more than a killstar bag so i was going to get the killstar one with the black and then like velvet stripes down it i can't remember what it's called and it is a lovely bag but i think for the quality it is worth paying the extra money this is two months old there is not a dink on it absolutely amazing i did so I did something on it and I sort of got this streak on it. I think I got sun cream on it or something and I was panicking and I just got some hot soapy water and gave it a wipe down with a nice soft sponge. Absolutely good as new. I nearly killed one of the kids once the other day because they dropped their drink and I was like, oh my God, it's landed in my handbag, hasn't it? It's landed in my handbag. And you know when you're like, I love you and I know it's an accident, but I might have to strangle you. And then I realised actually it had landed near my bag, but not in my bag i was about to have kittens so <laughs> it is so so beautiful it is definitely worth the money but i i mean i you know was very lucky that i got it on the black friday sale and you know managed to get a bit extra off as well by just leaving it in my basket for a few days you know I, that worked i do that with a lot of different shops um i've done that with forest ink as well if you just put something in your basket and then leave it a couple of days you tend to get an email with a with a really good voucher for some extra money off which is always handy I love this bag. I love this wallet. They are definitely my most favourite handbag and wallet ever. And I have got some beautiful handbags and wallets. I must admit 90% of them are Killstar, although I must admit I do really love my Goth X ones as well. But the quality of this is just second to none of those. Everything is beautifully finished. There is not a single thing wrong with this bag. I mean, other than the fact that it would be nice if this had that sort of velvety strip on it. But I think I might be able to do something about that. Evelina, if you happen to be watching, if you could maybe when you make the next one, make it so it's a velvet strap on the underside, you would have made the perfect bag. Like literally the most perfect bag in the universe. I absolutely love this thing. I cannot recommend it highly enough. If you get the opportunity, get, get, get yourself one. 
that is the Black Friday by Avelina de More handbag and I must admit I am now obsessed with the brand Avelina de More I mean I'm obsessed with her anyway I love her albums etc but um, she's got Black Friday and her have brought out a jewellery range um, there is a men's wallet I did show it to Heavy Metal Hubby he was like it's not really my style because uh, it's basically like a smaller version of just this sort of thing and it's not really him the Danny Devine collection oh my god the Danny Devine collection she's got like a coffin bag that's like a sideways one reminds me of those coffin bags from back in the 90s but like absolutely souped up to the to the nines um, and then there's also a coffin purse one where it's like the coffin the top of the coffin opens up like a very elegant little coffin bag it's beautiful beautiful there's some gorgeous stuff there I think I already know what I'm going to be getting for next Christmas <laughs> What can I say? Go check out the website. I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly recommend the Avelina de More's collection. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Go check them out. Get yourself a handbag. And remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And thank you to all of you that already do. Hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload. And remember people, stay heavy.